If you were creating a quiz round where the first participant to find a specified item in the house wins, what would be the funniest items to pick? I just had a team building where each team had to find a CD. The older the more points they would get. They also had to find the fruit. The more obscure and exotic the better. Tell them to find the ugliest picture in the house. That'll be fun to watch. Newest VHS tape if you have any. Most worn out piece of clothing that hasn't been thrown out yet minus stained, holes, faded, etc. A slightly different one minus the best disguise they can come up with in say 3 to 5 minutes. That's a nice quiz round. Do you mean everyone in their own home or all in the same house? Edit home forward slash house. My keys. Frankly if money was on the line I still wouldn't be able to find them edit. Also you forward slash the Beatles weren't good left airpods since they probably couldn't find it if money was on the line as well. The oldest minted coin. Ugliest underwear you own. Hide 20 dildos. Make the challenge to find all. 21 dildos. The missing sock. Angry fist to sky. Postage stamp camera not on a phone ticket stub or playbill item starts W their first initial item made in their state well. I'm not sure how fun it will be to watch them since they'll either be off screen or running around. We did a scavenger hunt W friends. To rules. Device stays in place. Items can only be used once points. First person back gets 10 points. Everyone else W an item gets 5 points. Makes tallying the scores easy. My official answer here would be the most unflattering photo of your mother forward slash father. You know there would be some real gems there. My unofficial side story is that I recently, just pre-COVID, reluctantly went on a family cruise. We participated in a scavenger hunt with very strange items on the list. We were broken into small groups with complete strangers, given a list of items and told we must return in under 20 minutes. That is not a lot of time on a 17-story cruise ship, especially considering we couldn't split up. Off we went, sprinting through this damn ship, screaming at each other. Who has a red lipstick? What about a coin from Aruba? No one had a sock with a hole in it so one member ripped apart her toddler's sock. We convinced a rondo lady to loan us the Hawaiian shirt she was wearing and she tagged along for the rest of the hunt. We had three minutes left to get back to the meeting point. We were six floors up and at the end of the ship. We know the elevators won't come in time so we start running down the stairs, yelling apologies to other passengers as we go. Some people were cheering for us. Most were annoyed. We got down to the correct floor with less than a minute left. We were stuck. There was a giant no through traffic sign on the doors. The only way back to midship was to go up or down two floors. Walk to midship then take stairs back down. We didn't have time. We all looked at each other and nodded. We opened the door to the formal dining room. On formal night and started racing though. The guests were in ball gowns and tuxedos. We were sweaty and panting. Carrying towel animals. A piece of half-eaten fruit, spilled sunscreen, and other random treasures while we darted around the weight stuff. The entire time I figured we would be stopped and asked to leave. Well, I'm not sure, but there is absolutely no way what we did was acceptable. We made it to the lobby with seconds to spare. We looked around and realized most of the other teams were children. Some parents were with youngest kids, but most were teenagers and 10 to 12 crowd. Our team won. Adrenaline took over and we all started screaming and cheering and dancing as we donned our golden medals. We fucking cheered ourselves in front of 50 plus children. I would say I'm embarrassed but honestly the whole thing was so ridiculous it's a really good story to tell. Can anyone think of any funny double antennas where the specified item could be interpreted to mean multiple things? Do you mean a scavenger hunt? One's your own socket. An ink pen that's not blue, black, or red. Possibly bonus points for rarer colors like brown. Nail clippers. A dead wired light bulb.
Everyone has at least one in their house but no one seems to know where they keep it. Minus a condom. Minus dirtiest item them own. Minus shots. Glass with a small amount of hard liquor poured in. Minus bunch of grass plucked from the garden. Hopefully someone locks themselves out. Minus a fruit. Minus a souvenir. Yeah. Minus their most precious picture. Minus an item that they have stolen. Minus an item that belongs to their room. Minus or flatmates. Minus the first one who returns with a bit of mayonnaise or other dipper on their nose. Minus first one to make a pretend line of cocaine using flour or powdered sugar on their table. Minus most useless card they have in their wallet. Minus most useless item they have ever bought. All right, folks. It's that part of the game where we vaguely describe a thing that is found in the common household. Here we go. What works on four legs, eats, poops and sleeps all day. My husband's reading glasses. I'm tired of having to buy ten pair a month cause he keeps losing them. Find them all. One of my hairs. The cat's hairs are the exact same size so it would be hilarious to watch them compare the hairs. The singular dead battery in a pack of 80. Probably a bit late on the bandwagon. I do non-Google able quizzes and have done similar rounds. Here are mine. 1. Selfie of your whole team distorted by something glass minus that isn't a pair of glasses. 2. A picture of your team with a cuddly toy that through forced perspective is the same size as you. 3. Spell out the word virus forward slash COVID on the floor using stuff you have in the room. Max two of the same item. 4. Photo of your team off a reflective surface that isn't a mirror. 5. Picture of what is known in Cockney rhyming slang as a dirty den. 10 a forward slush. 6. A picture of you holding the answer to this riddle. What can travel the world whilst staying in the corner? A stamp. 7. A picture of you holding both items that feature in the Cockney rhyming slang for Sneeze, bread and cheese. 8. Grab some tin foil and make a hat for the youngest team member minus best hat wins. 9. Shadow puppet minus make a shadow puppet of an animal. 10. Make a tower of stuff that reaches the ceiling of at least 5 items. 11. Selfie of the whole team through a toilet roll. When the toilet roll meme was a thing. Teams get points for creativity and also speed. We actually had a round similar to this in our weekly virtual pub quiz. With my friends. Things like competition on who has the most toilet paper and who can stack the most books in frame. A chipped cup. Presuming that you don't have any, wait until someone just chips one. My neon orange paint box that seems to end up in my daughter's room in her endless closet. Just to add it holds small watercolors. And I have seen the dog carry her it off as well. My point it's neon bright orange how can I not find it? Two weeks and nothing. My daughter cleaned her room. I made sure of that because she is like nearly all 11 YRS old and cuts corners. Not this time. I think my home has multiple one holes. Subscribe like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe like and comment.